Hi and welcome to the Excel experience. Today, I'll be demonstrating my new goal planner template. It made a real difference for me, so I've enhanced it to make it even better for all of you. In today's video, I'll guide you through how to use it effectively. If it worked for me, I believe it can work for you too. If you haven't purchased it yet, check the link in the description to grab your copy. Let's jump in and turn those goals into reality together. This template is designed in Google Sheets. In total, there are five sheets in this template. You may notice only four visible sheets, but one is intentionally hidden, and it's important not to make any changes to it. The first one is instructions, providing a brief, step-by-step -step guide on how to use the sheet. When you receive this spreadsheet, it's a clean slate. Now, let me show you how it works. Let's start by navigating to the major milestone sheet. Here, you have the flexibility to change the heading of your worksheet as you wish. I've labeled it major milestones for now. Now, let's set your goal. Let's enter our first goal and that will be to buy a new house and double click in this section to choose the target date for achieving it. You can add up to five goals. Once you input your goal, it will instantly reflect here. As you can see, this section is dedicated to goal number one. If you scroll down, you'll find sections for goals two, three, four, and five. One fantastic feature is that you don't have to scroll down to reach sections two, three, four, and five. Simply click here, and it will instantly take you to the respective section. Here you'll describe the desired outcome you aim to achieve from this goal. For instance, mine is comfortable, cozy home for family. The target date has already been populated here. Now, let's outline the action plan to achieve this goal. And we can select the target date of each action plan. I'll jot down a few action plans. If you go beyond your target date, it will be highlighted for quick recognition. Once you've completed an action plan, simply tick this box, and it will strike through, indicating completion. Imagine you achieve your goal, like buying a new house. Just tick here, and that goal will be strike through from above, marking it as accomplished. Double click here to note the achievement date, and describe the results once your goal is successfully achieved. Moving forward, access the monthly planner by specifying your desired year and month. In the Year tab, I'll select 2024. First, let's review the log sheet as it serves as a crucial link to the monthly planner. In the log sheet, we'll document our short-term goals along with their target dates. I've already documented some of my goals along with the dates by which I aim to achieve them. These entries will automatically be reflected in the corresponding target dates on the monthly planner sheet. Now, let's see it in monthly planner sheet. By using the drop-down menu, you can easily switch between months and observe the entries from the log sheet reflecting here. Additionally, you have the flexibility to change the start of the week to either from Monday or Sunday. The calendar will dynamically adjust accordingly based on your preference. In this section, you can track the total number of goals, those already achieved, and those yet to be accomplished. Since we haven't specified achievement dates yet, the count for achieved goals currently stands at zero. Let's add achievement dates. Simply double-click in this area to select the date. If it's beyond the target date, it will be highlighted for easy identification. Upon entering the achievement date, the corresponding entry in the monthly planner will automatically be marked with a tick and strike through, 
providing a visual indication of accomplishment. Furthermore, the chart will be automatically updated to reflect the latest achievements, ensuring a real-time visualization of your progress. Additionally, for each day in the calendar, there's a corresponding cell chart. Upon entering the achievement date, the progress chart will dynamically update, visually representing the achieved goals against the total set for that day. All right, that concludes the walkthrough tutorial. If you have any further questions or if there's anything specific you'd like to explore, feel free to ask. Feel free to connect with me on my social media links for more Excel experiences and updates. I'm excited to engage with you there. Thank you so much for watching.